This one gives us our widest field of view. This one gives a medium field of view. And this one's really good for close-up shots. But when he uses the zoom lever, he moves through them as if it's one camera. In a black and white image, any, Im any pixels in the image that are white show up as a strong stimulation on the tongue. Any pixels that are gray show up as a medium level stimulation on your tongue. And any pixels that are black are no stimulation. And so that's how we translate the black and white camera image to vibrations on the tongue. Is that, is that a black liner? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's why. The earliest chair device used mechanical solenoids to stimulate sensations on the back. But today, a computer converts the camera information into electrical pulses and delivers them to the tongue, which is far more sensitive than the back. From the tongue, they begin their trip to the brain. The current device, known as a brain port, has 625 sensors to deliver fine-grained information to the tongue and then the brain. Early devices had only 144 sensors and delivered a much less precise sensation. I don't even think of it now anymore, of, of uh, sensation of touch, as automatically as, oh, just like you would look with your eyes across the room and see the thing hanging on the wall. <laughs> what we're going to try and do is stay in the middle of these two lines. Baki Rita's concept that the sense of touch could affect the visual cortex was verified in 2005 by neuropsychologist Maurice Tito. Both blind and sighted people's brains were scanned with a PET scan device. Then using their tongues, they were asked to determine which way the letter T was oriented. The sighted people were blindfolded. Later, PET scans showed no difference in the sighted subjects' brains. But for the blind, after the sensory substitution experiment, their visual cortices showed distinct stimulation. Something was getting through to the blind subject's visual centers. But had the touch sensation really become vision? Now you have a visual behavior, you have active visual cortex. So what is it if it's not vision? The question is a philosophical question. If you give the same kind of information, not through the eye, but to the tongue, is it still vision? My personal thing is it's visual information. And so when Roger can find a cup on the table and grab right for it, that's vision. The last year when I was up here the first time, we were doing stuff on the table in the kitchen. And, uh, you know, I got kind of a little emotional because it was 33 years since I've seen before and I could reach out and I see the different size balls. I mean, I visually see them. I could reach out and grab them, not grope or feel for them, pick them up and see the cup and I could raise my hand, drop it right in the cup. 